Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. I am back with a haul from the land where everything used to be one pound, but not anymore. A few things are 50p, a few things are two pound, and the odd naughty item is a fiver. In fact, there's things for six pounds in there now. There's all sorts of prices, but I have been back to Poundland and I'm bringing you a Poundland haul today. So I've got lots of exciting things to show you. They've started to get some of their garden stuff into store and they've also got quite a lot of Easter items in store as well which caught my eye. In fact one of them very sadly didn't make it home with me, it smashed. It was this beautiful egg and I've shared more things from Poundland over on my Instagram if you would like to go and have a look over there. I save them to a highlight on my story so anything that hasn't fallen into my basket will be over on my Instagram that I spied that I think you would like. So feel free to give me a little follow over there on my home account, which is Mr. Carrington Home, and there you will find any bargains that I spy in shops, other shops as well as Poundland, of course, as well. But um, time to get into the haul. So before we do, we'll have a quick sip of the coffee. I've got the candles lit and the daffodils are out. It's all go here, I've made the effort. A quick sip and we'll get into this one. I'm very excited to show you these things. We've got some absolute corkers. And if you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe for new videos every single week. And if you enjoy this haul from the land where everything used to be one pound, do give it a little thumbs up. Also, just behind me here is a Poundland DIY. This is a little plant pot that I made recently using a candle and some sticky tiles that I got from Poundland as well. If you want to see more Poundland DIYs, I will link that video for you in the description box. But let's get on with the haul. So the first thing that I've got is a naughty three pound item, but I couldn't resist this one. It is this beautiful spring wreath. So how about this? for three pounds. So it says 32 by 32 centimeters, so it's about the size of a regular ruler. And yeah, it just says spring wreath on the back. A little tip for you, if you can't spot a price on the shelf and you think something might be more than one pound is that they have the numbers on the back here. So that does indicate the price in Poundland. So yeah, that's handy if you wanna know how much something's going to be, if you think it might be a little bit more. But I thought the design of this was really nice. It's got the little eggs on it and then it's kind of like a, twiggy design in there. You can always pull off some of these things or even add to it. So I'll probably um, add a few more bits and pieces to this. I put for three pounds, really, really nice. And I'm gonna hang this up over the mantelpiece, just up there. So the next thing that I got was in the garden section. And it is this, which I haven't seen in Poundland before. And it's a antique light bulb, warm white LED for outdoors. This is a solar powered light bulb. It's probably a bit bright in here to show you, but as soon as it gets dark, once you switch it on, you switch it on in here, then um, it will glow up nicely. And it's got the hook on it, so you could hang it anywhere in the garden, or you could hang a few of these across a string as well, if you wanted to string them up, if you've got a tree in your garden or somewhere to hang them from. And as soon as it gets dark, it will light up. And yeah, I just really like the design of this, the way it looks like this antique style glass and then the long uh, piece in there for the light. Thought really nice for one pound, really good. And the label just says solar light, in case you were wondering. I like to say what the labels say um, if you're new here. You can also spray paint this part if you wanted to, but yeah, I thought really good for one pound I might pick up a few more I'll hang it up outside and see how um, bright it is and how it looks and I'll try and include that on a vlog so you can see it as well and then also in the Easter range I picked up this so along with the thing that broke <laughs> the egg I picked up this which I thought was really good for one pound and actually if you didn't like the bunny on it which is incredibly bling, then you could always turn this one around and then we have a very white company style little votive or tea light holder there. So actually a really nice container in itself so you could always turn it around when it's not Easter time. But yeah, nice with the little bling bunny on there and I thought so good for one pound. And this one just says tea light holder on the label. So next up, a few bits, um, essential items really. I picked up this, which I have bought previously and um, enthused about, and then, yeah, I can recommend. <laughs> as far as toilet paper goes, this is a good one. So it's the Andrex Skin Kind Clean Ripple Texture and Soft Soothe a Prebiotic Lotion. A lot of going on with the toilet roll, isn't it? It says, helps maintain skin health for luxury rolls. It's a very nice toilet roll, I have to say. As far as toilet roll goes, 
and yeah, you get four in a pack for two pounds. I also got some toothpaste. So toothpaste in Poundland is usually one pound, but a few of them do come up at two pounds. But this one was a quid. This is the Colgate Max White Sparkle Diamond. I've used this one before and yeah, it's really nice. It says 10 times longer lasting cooling, sparkle diamonds, new cooling. A lot of cooling going on with this toothpaste. Not quite sure what the cooling means, but anyway, I like it. <laughs> I also got some of these for cleaning the floor, but I'll probably use these for all sorts of different cleaning. So these are the Wipe the Floor With You Heavy Floor Cloths. Let's see how many you get in here. The label just says cloths. They're very inventive with their labels in Poundland. So here we get one, two, three, four, five of these, which I think is actually really good for one pound. So working out at 20p each, these are really good size and actually I think these are really good for dusting, doing mirrors, all kinds of different jobs, especially if you throw them in the washing machine so they're not going to be um, losing any fibres as you go around and clean. I think these are great and yeah, for £1 to get five of this size I think is very good. A good alternative as well if you're somebody that uses a lot of kitchen roll, really good for one pound, excellent value there, and ones that can be reused as well, which is always good. And then, with the renovations starting soon, I picked up some of these. These are the Don't Mess Up Paper, oh dear. <laughs> I don't know what's going on today. I need another sip of my coffee. Tell you what, there might be some outtakes at the end of this video at this rate. Excuse me. Right. As I was saying, these are the don't mess up, and I mess up saying that, uh, paper table covers four pack. And these are really good for any DIY projects you're doing, but also to put down if you're doing any decorating. You know, sometimes plastic sheets can just get all tangled up around your feet. I find that these kind of do protect the floor quite nicely and also, um, yeah, cover quite a decent area. So they are paper table covers, according to the label on the back, 90 centimeters by 90 centimeters. So a decent size as well. And with them being paper as well, you can pop them into the recycling once you're done with them. Oh, I've got a little bargain from a little to show you. So stay tuned for that. I'll show you that one at the end. Next up, I got the deodorant that I always get. It is the roll-on. I've got the sure one here. Always use this one. It does the job. It's just the quantum dry 48 hour protect. I probably pick this up in every every single pound land haul that I do. I keep one permanently in my wash bag now as well as having one in the bathroom as well so I don't forget one because we don't want to be sweating <laughs> when we're off anywhere, do we? Uh, next up, I got one of these display books. I liked the really simple design of this one. It's got 30 sheets in here. Well, it's got 30 pockets to contain 30 sheets, as you can see. And I thought this would be really handy and look quite nice for keeping my loft documents in. As you may know, I'm in the process of renovating the loft and there's all sorts of paperwork that is involved with that. So it's nice to keep it organised and it's nice to be able to see things really clearly, just be able to flick through and find the right documentation that you need to keep track of everything. So I thought this would be a nice one for that. And yeah, really nice simple design this one. On to some food, and they had these back in store, which I have tried before, and these are a really nice little snack, especially if you've been doing a workout, or if you've been running, or anything um, strenuous, that sort of thing, you want to have some protein, because these are the Choc Chip Protein Brownies from Ski Mix, or Sky Mix, or Ski Mix and they have 20 grams of protein in, which is pretty good going, 24 grams of carbs and 246 calories. So a really good snack there if you're looking for some protein and you want to kind of be filled up a bit. I thought this would be a good option, um, again, to pop into my bag if I'm going anywhere. It'd be quite a nice treat to have one of these with a coffee. And then I also picked up another thing that's nice to have with a coffee, and that is this bar of mini eggs Cadbury's chocolate. So I don't think I've tried this one before. I probably have, but I don't remember it. But this was good value because this was one pound and it's 110 grams. So that's pretty good going, isn't it? I always think around 100 grams per pound. It says with micro mini eggs inclusions, whatever that means. <laughs> and it says there is six portions here. I mean, really? That's gonna go quite fast once I get that open. I don't know whether that'll last one. <laughs> and then I picked up this, which I thought looked like great value for one pound. This is the, ah, Bisto Sauces Chip Shop Thick Gravy. 
behave yourself bisto this sounds incredible i'm imagining getting some chips from the chippy making up some of this and then adding some grated cheese and we'll do like a poutine have you tried that i've had it in cardiff oh my goodness it's one of the nicest things and the naughtiest things ever but it's so good it says great on chips so yeah i'm thinking that's going to be a dinner i'm going to go down the chippy get a big portion of chips shove some of this on it along with some grated cheese and live my best life and it's 300 grams and it says suitable for vegetarians as well so next up what have we got oh this is interesting i think this is new this is smooth coffee body scrub so it says wake up your skin and smell the coffee with this luxurious body scrub it leaves your skin feeling rich and smooth just like your coffee <laughs> and yeah the label just says coffee scrub and this one again it reminded me of some of the lush packaging that you see so they've got a few bits in poundland that i think are a little bit of a dupe of lush products they've also got i've noticed some clay face masks as well in the little tubs that are very similar to lush and i thought the packaging of this looked quite cool and yeah i thought it'd be nice to give this a go it'd be a good one to do before i get the old fake tan on make sure that um, my skin is nicely exfoliated so yeah i look forward to using that i don't think i've ever tried a coffee body scrub before and one last thing before i move on to the bits that i got from lidl and that is this sharpie and this one is actually a fine liner sharpie so i've not seen this kind before let's get it out and have a closer look i want to see how it writes with you because i feel like Sort of detail we like here. We've got the slightly pointy end here. I'll just do a little scribble on here so you can see. Nice and fine. I'm liking that a lot. And let's see what this end is like. This looks like more like the fine liner, but it's also permanent, which is very handy. I'm loving this. I do get far too excited about good stationery, but this is good. How about that? really handy to have a permanent pen that writes nice and finely like that especially if you're into labeling things as you know i am especially if you're partial to <laughs> popping a little note on things here and there and even if you're just doing things like using one of these display books and you want to just add a little uh, note on the actual plastic as well really handy you're not going on with a big fat marker pen uh, using one of these so very pleased with my double-ended sharpie it is the small things here that keep us happy and talking of that i have got some very nice candles from lidl for the bargain price of one pound 49 i wanted to show you these may well still be in store when this video goes live so if you are shopping in lidl and you see them i recommend you pop a couple of these into your trolley because they smell incredible i could smell them in the aisle when i walked past them they are scented candles this one is chamomile and orange and you get nine tea lights in a box. Really nice, simple packaging as well. How nice do these look? And also they've got the rosemary and lavender ones as well. And it says that each one is paraffin free, contains natural essential oils, and the container is made from 100% recycled material as well. And it says great burning performance assured by top quality raw materials and ingredient testing and does it say how long they burn for nine times six hours that's pretty good going as well isn't it so you could light one of these and it will do you for an evening so really nice and my goodness they smell so good they smell like you've gone into a quality gift shop that's got a lot of soap and a few bath bombs in there some nice candles and the entire shop smells of this you might even be in the south of France. They're really good. <laughs> the little, I'm so impressed. So yeah, um, that is everything that I've got to show you from good old Poundland. Let me know in the comments down below which item was your favourite. I think mine might be the double-ended Sharpie. <laughs> Honestly, um, really, you think that is it. But um, yeah, although this, I mean, I'm very excited to get involved with that. I'll try and include it in a vlog if I do. I'll show you my incredible chips and gravy with cheese meal looking forward to that and yeah what else did we like i mean the wreath's pretty good as well isn't it i'm going to do a decorate for easter with me i think so stay tuned for that i think one of the eggs has fallen off saying that so you're not my favorite anymore <laughs> but don't worry i'll add, a, add another egg there oh is it hiding there it is that's okay i'll get the glue gun out the glue gun's missing me anyway so um we'll reintroduce the glue gun to our lives and i'll sort that out 
and we'll um, decorate for Easter soon. So yeah, do stay tuned for that one. If you are new here, don't forget to click subscribe for new videos every single week. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this haul. And yeah, I will see you very soon. If you're watching this on Sunday morning, have a lovely rest of your Sunday. I hope you're having a good weekend, whatever you're up to, and wishing you a good week ahead. Don't forget, you can always catch me over on Instagram. It's Mr. Carrington and Mr. Carrington Home. And I'm dabbling in TikTok. I'm figuring out how to work it properly, but there is a bit of TikToking going on, if that's even the word for it. I don't know. So you can always follow me over there if you're into the TikToks as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye. But I thought, four? <laughs> but I thought for three pounds, really, really nice. I'm probably gonna pop. But I thought for three pounds, really, really nice. And I'm gonna put it, no, I'm not. But I thought for three pounds, really, really nice. And I'm, oh. And I'll be back very soon for an, what with? Don't know. <laughs>